doing my top 10 drugstore makeup products and I spent a very long time trying to choose these products because there's just so much that I like from the drugstore and it was very hard narrowing it down but I finally did it so I'm going to show it to you guys and I'm actually doing this video with Lizzie and Cassie so I'm really excited to see what products they choose. I'll have the links to their videos in the info bar so definitely watch that and let's get started. So I'm going to start with some face products. So first is this Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. And this, I don't know what I would do without this. This is my everyday kind of setting powder. I have it in 01 Transparent. It keeps me matte all day no matter what foundation I actually apply it over, which is really good. And it's around $3.99, which is so cheap. And I think this easily beats many high-end products as well. So this is definitely a favourite. Then also for foundation, this was very difficult, but I decided on, also from Rimmel, this is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. And this has recently become my favourite because I just use it every day for work and it just works so well for my skin. It lasts all day, it has a matte finish, so if I apply this over the top, it just doesn't budge, it stays all day. It's, it will probably stay for two days if you don't wash your face. <laughs> it's transfer proof, it's hydrating, lightweight feel, which is definitely true. I have it in the colour 200 soft beige, which matches my skin really well and I just love this. Now for lipstick, I obviously had to go with a Revlon lip butter, you guys know how much I love them. And I have so many, so it was quite difficult just choosing one, but I thought I'd show you this one because recently I've been really enjoying using it and it's in the colour 080 Strawberry Shortcake. And this is a really pretty colour for spring and summer. It looks really bright in the packaging, but it's not actually that bright. It's just a very girly Barbie pink shade. It's not too shimmery and it just looks really natural. It's almost like a blush colour. It just adds a little bit of a healthy stain to your lips. And I love the formula of Revlon Lip Butters. They are so moisturising, they feel so lovely on the lips. And they have such a big range of colours that I just love it. <laughs> now for blush I chose this one by Bourjois in the colour 33 Lila Dor and I just love these little Bourjois pots or what would you call them. They're really cute and compact so you can easily carry them in your purse and they have quite a nice selection of colours. The colour payoff is really great and they just have really gorgeous natural looking shades. They're not too crazy looking but they're all quite shimmery I think. I think pretty much all of them are shimmery so they just add a really nice healthy glow to your cheeks. They are highly pigmented and I just think the quality is really good. I mean they are from the same people who make Chanel so I guess the quality is going to be good but just all these little bourgeois pots they're just so cute. Now for mascara I'm sure you guys know which one I'm going to choose. It's the one from Max Factor. It's the full slash effect one. I mentioned this in my mascaras video. It was my top one and this is just an amazing mascara if you really like that full slash effect look like the name suggests. It just gives these really intense voluminous long and just really false effect looking eyelashes. So if you definitely like that effect then this is a mascara for you. It's not waterproof but the original one that I have it doesn't smudge. It stays on all day and it's just a really good formula. Then for nail polishes, the ones out of all the drugstore ones, if I had to choose a brand, then I would go for L'Oreal. Obviously I can't just choose one colour because that's impossible, so I thought I'd go for a brand and it's L'Oreal. They have a huge selection of colours and I think the quality is the best out of all drugstore nail polishes. I don't know, maybe it's just for my nails, kind of how it works for me, but I think definitely the lasting power... The price that you pay for it, the quality is definitely the best in L'Oreal nail polishes. The one I have here today is in the colour 805. What is it called? Mysterious Sicon? <laughs> However you say that, I don't know. But I just thought I'd show you guys this colour because it's really unusual. I haven't seen any other nail polish like it. It's a almost like a metallic silvery purpley grey but it has gold shimmer through it and what's really good is that the shimmer is not really big so you can still remove this nail polish really easily because if you have those huge shimmer particles, I just have no patience and I can't be bothered to take it off. So this is a good alternative and it's just a really unusual colour. It's really great. Now for concealer slash highlighter, I thought I'd go for this L'Oreal Lumine Magique Stylo Touch Pen, whatever it's called. This is what it looks like. And this is from the same range as their Lumine Magique Foundation, which also I absolutely love. But this is my favourite highlighter probably out of the drugstore just because I think the quality is really good. They have a quite a few different colours and they have peach toned ones and also yellow based ones so depending on where you would use this. I have this one in colour 3 and it's a peachy colour, it works really great under the eyes, it really conceals any dark circles. I also use this on my spots even though it's not concealer but it works really well because it has really good coverage and it lasts all day, it's a nice formula and I just think it's a really good product. Now for an eye pencil slash eyeshadow, I have this one by Soap and Glory and it's called 
the daily double lid shadow and liner stick, I guess, and it's double sided. One side is this off white creamy colour, and the other one is a dark green. And I really didn't mention this enough. This is one of my absolute favourites. It's a really soft, creamy eyeshadow eyeliner. They stay all day. I don't think they're waterproof, but they stay all day and they're just so soft and so pigmented. They're great for every day because the darker colour is good for the top and then the lighter colour you can use and then in the corners you can line your waterline to have like a nice healthy wide-eyed effect. And it's just a really handy product to have because it's two-sided, so you have two colours in one. Now for the final two products, first I have this lip gloss by Revlon. If I had to choose a brand to stick to lip gloss, it would probably be Revlon. I just think the formula of their lip glosses is really good because they're not sticky but they last for a very long time which can be quite tricky to get because usually if it's long lasting it feels so gooey and sticky and gross on the lips whereas this I think the formula is great so this one I have here today is a number two it's crystal lilac and it's from the Revlon Color Burst collection it's a really pretty everyday wearable color it's light pink it's kind of a blue based pink so it makes your teeth look super white it also smells quite nice as well it's just a nice hint of a vanilla smell, it's not too strong. Sometimes you can get those really nasty smells. It gives you a bit of colour so it's great for every day. It's just a nice kind of peachy pink, Barbie pink shade. It's really pretty on the lips and they're also super glossy so they plump up the lips, they make them look bigger. Now for bronzer, my favourite out of all of them is this one by Rimmel as well and it's the natural bronzer, this is what it looks like. This also has natural minerals in it which is great, it has SPF 8 which is not too much but it's good for every day and the colour that I have is 22 Sun Bronze and the reason why this is my favourite bronzer is just because the colour is so natural looking and it just matches my skin tone perfectly because a lot of the times you can get bronzers which are way too yellow or orange or dark or light and I just I never really found a colour that worked so well as this so for that reason this is just my favourite. It almost has a red undertone so it really looks like a natural tan as opposed to being yellow or orange which is very unnatural and the colour of this is just great. They have quite a few shades but this is by far my favourite. And that's it for my top 10 products. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what your favourite drugstore makeup is. What products you just absolutely love. Also tell me if you have any of the products that I showed you today. If you like them, if you don't. Or leave a video response and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!